Hey guys and welcome to the Storage Review Lab here in Cincinnati, Ohio. We've got a lot going on at all times, but something that we're working on this week and into next week that we're really excited about is this Cumulo uh, configuration. We've got five nodes of their software-defined NAS product running on these great little 1U boxes. Now I happen to be out this week, but uh, Cumulo came in on Wednesday and worked with Kevin to rack it, stack it, and, uh, and deploy. And from what I'm told, it was done in, uh, in very quick order. One of the best things about it, I think, is from this hardware design. They've got these quick release notches here, which by the way, be careful not to press the power button. They release the tray, and inside we've got 12 six terabyte WD hard drives. And what you can't see is underneath here, there are four micron SSDs that are used for cache. So 25 gig on the back end helps take advantage of the capabilities of the flash and the hybrid configuration. Cumulo does offer an NVMe solution as well for those that need really high performance NAS, but our needs are a little more pedestrian this time. So as we're just taking a look on the, uh, the MacBook here, one of my favorite things about the Cumulo offering is their interface. Not everything Every system has a great interface, Cumulo really does, and they bubble up a lot of important information in easy to understand ways. You can see our five nodes are online and protected. I accidentally killed one earlier, and so it'll definitely tell you when there's a problem on this screen as well. Uh, Kevin's running some benchmarking against the system right now, so you can see the, the data footprint's growing a little bit as we go. You can get some really nice high-level activity information here. Uh, looking at things like IOPS and throughput, your read, your write, all that sort of thing. Uh, you can drag that out and expand it or, or contract it as you like. Uh, lots of other great information too about performance, distribution, which ones of the nodes are handling, uh, the numbers of clients at the moment. Uh, again, we're just doing some light testing today uh, to get a feel for the capabilities of the system. Something else Cumulo does a really great job with is on their analytics side. They've got a lot of capacity tools. One of my favorite though is the hotspots, either from throughput or from IOPS. You can take a look and see what are the, the, uh, the shares and the files that are taking up the most activity on your system. So another great visibility point that sure, you might be able to get this through uh, vSphere or vRealize Ops, some other tools like that, but this is a nice one that's built into the storage uh, that I think is really great. We can also come over and take a look uh, at all of our nodes. So a few minutes ago when I accidentally hit the power button, you would have seen that node two was red and unhappy. We powered it back on, it rejoined the cluster and it's up and running and, uh, and all is well again. So we're just at the early days of seeing what the capabilities of this platform are and we're gonna be working on it over the coming weeks to bring a complete review uh, to the site, so keep in touch, let us know what you think uh, about Cumulo and about what we're doing here, and we're happy to engage with you and make sure our content's the best it can be.